Hello and welcome to Big Sky 35. Uh, this morning uh, or today or this evening, when I, I'm doing this at night, and uh, whenever you watch it, uh, hello. And we'll be looking at things that I purchased off of, well, cards, not things, off of tops.com. I am all over the place. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, and uh, we're going to start with Star Wars. First is going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, now cards. Uh, I think before I told y'all I was missing one and I finally got it. Uh, part three, for some reason, I got part three last out of a uh, five part series. Uh, I liked it. Was it the greatest series? No. Uh, not all of them can be uh, the Mandalorian or Boba Fett or, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, Endor. I'm looking forward. I mean, this was good. I, I, I really did like this, but uh, for me, it didn't really fill in a lot of holes. It was just, just a story. Just a story, and I did uh, pull a get a purple one with Tala Durith, which the actress that plays her was in. Um, I wish I had Ed here with me at Westergriff. She was in um, the HBO series, uh, the original series of uh, the Dragon story i can't even think right now but she was the uh like the queen of the desert part of it i really like her as an actress she plays in quite a few things she gets typecast a lot obi-wan kenobi now i did get um four so three and four i've had all these for a while i've really slowed down so this is one of my favorites uh I really would like to get that that one graded and you know in a tux, but I I just don't know uh, if I want to break up my this whole series to do that. Talking to Young Skywalker and running into King Gon Jin in the desert. So this is six, actually. This is the last, last one. That was the first time he uh, was showed himself through the Force. Next is going to be the Living um, series. Um, this is not a little uh, Chewbacca. This is Gunji. I did it. Oh, there we go. Clone Wars. Uh, it, it, he was part of the fourth kids that Asuka took to go get their crystals for their lightsabers. And they had a little run in with with the dark side. Admiral Statira. This guy here. Now, they say Mandalorian, but I could swear I've seen him in other stuff, too. Now, that might be where the picture came from. Uh, this one here is uh, like the police officers in Solo Story. Chancellor Palpatine, which is the Sith Lord. Garvin Drace in New Hope. Oh, he's just one of the pilots. Jar Jar Binks. Uh, Kylo Ren. That oh, one's not too bad. Uncar Poot. Ask Ock. 
I'm just making up stuff now. Now, this one here, uh, this is from Attack of the Clones, but I know, like, this type of character, not maybe not this one here, but I remember this one being, like, in the original three uh, because I had a, a figure of him. And for some reason, he was a popular figure with my friends. I think the weirder ones were, like, this is uh, Chairman... Papaditi, the Clone Wars, the cartoon. Oh, this is one of the figuring Dan from New Hope. If I got to tell you where this character was in New Hope, you never seen the movie. So I don't even need to tell you. Poe in Rogue One. A Star Wars story, which I really that I love that movie. Uh, I don't even want to pronounce that name, and that's from The Rise of Skywalker. Is that the creature that got loose? I can't. I don't remember that one. Now this is Sebe. Um, she is uh, one of the. Uh, people that travels with the princess, uh, the queen Amidala, and poses as her. Phantom Menace. I read a couple of the books, and she plays a big part in those. Andrea Two Tubes. I wonder where they got that name from. And this is from uh, I yeah, Rogue One. Quinlan Voss, Clone Wars cartoon. He's one of the uh, Jedi. <laughs> Admiral Grease from The Rise of Skywalker. Wald in The Phantom Menace. That's one of Anakin's buddies at the uh, pod racing. General Merrick, Rogue One. Uh, this is Drell. Um, this is from uh, Resistance. He's one of the pirates. Space pirates. Key Adi Monday from The Phantom Menace. He is a Jedi, part of the Jedi Council. Boss Naz, Phantom Menace. That's Jaja's King. Zek Corkins from A New Hope. He gets blasted in the I think he, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, you Star Wars, I think he gets shot in the uh, trench. Or does he go down on top before he gets in the trench, in the fighting above? But I think he goes down in the trench, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, when they make their final, the, on the first group. That doesn't make it. Next is going to be uh, baseball uh, tops now. Um, some Mike Trouts. I'm not going to read all the different ones. Mike Trout is just Mike Trout. Again, people, you know, I'm on different sales things. And if I can pick him up, I think at a good price, a reasonable price, graded, non-graded, I do it. And I don't have much trouble getting them. Um, I know a lot of people are down on him now. He's getting older. But uh, he's got, I think somebody said today, he's got 36 home runs. He just plays in the West Coast on a bad team. Now, this kid here, Stephen Kwan, I picked this as my second rookie card that I've got. And he doesn't have a, a rookie card yet in the base set. He's not even short printed. And I think that's a shame because I think he's a good ball player. Uh, 
Brett Bailey, Beatty um, call up, but he's had season ending surgery on his thumb. This is the Soto, the first Soto in the Padres. This is a great way. Tops now is a great way to get those types of cards. You know, I just wanted something to have the, the Soto trade on it. Uh, this one here. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> I got two of them, and I never get two, but these are two of my favorite plays. David Wright's one of my favorite all time. Pete Alonzo's right now. So I had to get one to go in each each one. And then they made it, I got that. So so one to go in. But I also I got a purple and they send you base ones to take it. So I got a out of 25 of that one. And I'll probably put that in my Pete Alonzo since he's my playing days guy right now. And that's basically what it is for. I think it's Slugging ties for the most half. Yeah. So just showing a tie, David Wright. Then some Pete's. Another Pete. A lost tonight. So we're tied with the Braves right now going into Wednesday. Um, Here's a couple of freebies, I believe. Uh, when you buy like the opening day set, they send you like certain cards throughout the year of your team for highlights for your team or players. Because I know I would never, I mean, I stopped buying, I stopped buying the Mets ones. I, uh, I only buy players that I really, you know, that I collect and not, they just don't play on a team for so long. So, I mean, I really like P – P Alonzo is my favorite. Uh, you know, I, I like Vogelbach, but I don't think he's going to be there after. I think he's just rented. Um, this is – it's a – really, realistically, it's a Miguel Cabrera card, but it's got Griffey on it, so I had to get it. Shout out to JT. Hope he plays one more year and he gets the send off that he deserves going to all. He announces, I wish he announces his retirement to get the send off he deserves at all the ballparks. He, he's one of those guys that deserves that. Uh, a final, you know, a final lap. Mike Piazza, turn back the clock in the Mets uniform. I really like Piazza a lot. I, I want that to get focused in. It will focus. Kyle Ripken, got a couple of him. Turn back the clock. Y'all know I like some cow. The cow. And then throwback Thursday. Cow, that's an awesome picture. I, I don't know if I've ever seen them use that one before. You know, they go, you know, they like to use the same pictures a lot with those throwbacks. Aaron Judge, who's just incredible it's amazing this season's been awesome this is one of those historical seasons with my uh mary uh with mariana uh with molina and rain wing right looks like rain right might be running out of gas a little bit uh you know pool holtz judge otani another set wander franco i didn't get it for franco I didn't get it for a tiny. Got it for the hurt. Love this one. I think this is Ninja Turtles. Oh, Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. And then I got a couple of uh, living sets. Uh, Jeremy Pena, who's playing pretty well at shortstop for the Astros, a guy nobody's really hearing about, but. He's quietly having a very nice rookie season. Hunter Green for the Reds. Another guy that's playing on a, you know, Jeremy Pena is playing on a good team with other good players. Uh, you, so you get kind of buried. Hunter Green is playing on a bad team that can't give him any production. And he's, he, I think he's going to be all right. You know, he's had some injuries. So he's a little older, but 
then you got O'Neill Cruz, who y'all know I think highly of. This year's – this is – I talked about last year's rookie class. Everybody kind of gave up on them really quick, and I was like, not every rookie class is going to have a guy that breaks out. You know, J-Rod is hurt right now. Wander got hurt this year. So not every rookie breaks out as an instant just darling. You, you got to give these guys some time to uh, to get – to work their craft. Then you, I got a J-Rod for the uh, game within the game, which I really love. And I'll get that graded. My last ones won't too well. Um, Mike told me to look on something on the backside of an O'Neill cruise that I did last week, which I haven't done yet. Uh, and now these are the, the new art uh, stuff that they got. Uh, Tops 100. And this is Frank Thomas by... What is this? Uh, who's this by? Uh, Chuck Anderson. Shiny. And then the next one is Mike Trout. And this is Chuck Anderson again. And then they did uh, like an all-star one um, with some of the all-star players. And this is a Mike Trout again by DJ Ski. <laughs> Which is not bad. But this last one, and you had a chance to get what I got on this last one. I got one more, and this is a Pete Alonzo all-star. And you, they had uh, foils number to $4.99. And I got one. And what was a little disappointing, because I'm hitting foils and and I got one gold uh, frame one. But they usually send you the base card as well. So if you wanted to do something with the other one and keep the base card, but they didn't this time. Uh, and if another thing that wasn't great, and tops is not perfect, we know that. But that 112.49 on the top, if we can get that to focus in, be Freaking awesome. It almost did. There we go. You can see it's not like squared. It's a like slanted. I know it's hard to see because my tape on my perfect fit. But it's got a little a little slant to it. But anyway, I was really happy that was at my door of my apartment, which I don't have stuff sent to my apartment, so that kind of made me mad too. Uh, but, you know, happy to get that if i was gonna get a foils glass with pete uh and and that's all i have for you today uh, i'm glad you watched you know tell me what you're collecting now how you're collecting you know this is probably a full couple of months of tops.com stuff uh you know I, I always pick up the star wars stuff but really uh, for the other team stuff they really haven't done much for me. Um, I only pick up certain players, as you can see. And, uh, you know, that's about it. That's how I'm collecting now. So, and since the National, I haven't really done a huge, huge amount, you know. So, until next time, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. You know, I'm picking up a couple here and there. Um, you know, you always get a little boost after the, the, the National, and then everything kind of dies out a little bit. Uh, really loving the season right now. Football, baseball, we got hockey right around the corner. You basketball guys not too far away. So until next time, we'll see you.